students back to your maths class yesterday we did one session where we learned the difference between similarity and congruence and also we did one criteria that was sss that means side 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 how two triangles can be congruent by using the criteria side 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 now today i have brought for you the second one s a s can you see beta purposely this s a s a is in between it is a is serving a purpose that whichever two sides you will take the angle between those two sides must be there so this angle is known as included angle what it is known as Included angle. Now, according to SAS criteria, I have drawn two triangles. I have marked one cut sides, double cut, and angle between them. So, if I write triangle ABC congruent in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Suppose you have to prove them congruent by using SAS. So what things you will write? First, you write single cut side that is AB is equals to QR. Then AC is equals to PR. And angle A is equals to angle P. Three components because yesterday I told you that for each criteria we have taken three component. Now therefore, triangle ABC. One name I have written randomly. Now you just find out the congruence. R will come. Angle R. R will come to A. Single line from R is going to Q, and single line coming to B. It is Q, and this is to C. It is P. That means ABC congruent to triangle RQP. RQP. By S A S rule, children. If you look at the left hand side picture or image, you can easily see the two triangles. There you can see two sides which are given equal to the corresponding side of another triangle, and an angle included. Means angle between those two equal side, which we call as included angle. Now, children, here is a question related to the criteria which we have just now, which we have done just now. That two sides and their included angle. Now we have to prove triangle ABC congruent to triangle. What you have to prove? You have to prove. Triangle ABC congruent to triangle congruent to triangle LMN. Fine. Now let's write like write its proof. We begin with the same triangles, triangle ABC and triangle LMN. Now no need to manage for the order because correspondence we will start maintain at the last. That is the major thing. So. Let's write equal components. We have 
side BC of your triangle ABC given equals to MN. Side AC of triangle ABC is equals to LM. And angle C is equals to angle N. So three components we have got. And for each criteria we need three components. So triangle. This is now final statement. Where correspondence must be established. C per. You will get M. Aapko M milega. Kyunki M C per angle bana hai. M per bana hai. C से सिंगल कट लाइन B की साइड जा रही है जबकि इधर N की साइड दिस इज N एंड A पर L दैट मीन्स ट्राइंगल ए बी सी कॉन्ग्रो इन टू ट्राइंगल एल एन एम बाय एस 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 ए एस रूल Just write down the definition for this SAS congruence. It states that if two sides and their included angle, two sides and their included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of other triangle. then the two triangles are congruent which we are doing again and again now i hope you must have understood sas criteria application of it so if you have any query related to sas rule or sss rule you may write in comment box and please follow my instagram page fun with maths thank you